Hello everybody, today I have this DD15 engine. I am working on the engine because I'm going to do an overhaul. But in today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace the pistons, how to remove the pistons from the cylinder block. As you can see, this is the cylinder block, this is the bare block. There is nothing around, but you don't have to remove all this to replace the piston. I'm doing something else, that's the reason I have everything apart. But anyway, to remove the pistons on this DD15 engine, um, you have to remove the head, you have to remove the oil pan, and everything else. There is no other way you can remove the pistons on a DD15 engine or any other engine. There is the only way. You have to remove the head to pull the pistons up. In this case, this is the piston. You can see this is the way they look like. There is six pistons in total, six cylinders. So, I'm going to start with the video. So, to remove the piston, the first thing you gotta do is rotate the engine and make sure that the piston is completely down. So, I'm going to rotate the engine like this, as you can see. It's going down. It's going down. Until it gets completely down like this. Once the piston is all the way down, the connecting rod is gonna be in this position, as you can see. So now I'm going to use a 13 16 socket to remove that uh, ball. I'm gonna use it with an impact gun to remove it. And I'm gonna do the same with the other one, but I'm going to leave this ball over here to secure the connecting rod cap to don't come all the way down as soon as I remove the other one. Alright, the connecting rod cap bolts are completely removed, so now I can safely remove the cap by removing the two bolts like this, placing your hand in this position and then you can remove the cap you can see this is the connecting rod cap and that's the connecting rod this is the way it looks like now to remove the piston I'm going to be using a hammer I'm gonna use the handle of the hammer you can use a rubber hammer or anything that you had thing is um, soft and I'm gonna push the connecting rod up really hard like this, as you can see, it's going up. You have to put it really hard. See, it's going up until it comes out like this. As you can see, it's already out. The piston is completely out. So you have to push it all the way from the um, bottom of the engine all the way until it comes out like this. In this case, I have the radiator completely off, so it's easy to see it from the front, as you can see. So this one is out, it's gonna be like that. So now I just have to get it out and put it somewhere. And this is the way the piston looks like. This is the DD15 piston. You can see when you are pushing the connecting rod, make sure to uh, be careful with the bearing over here because when you are pushing the connecting rod the bearing can come out and it can land on your face so be careful with that so now I'm going to repeat the same process with the other six cylinders to remove the pistons but something very important as soon as you remove the connecting rod it's very important to install the connecting rod cap to the specific connecting rod otherwise you can miss them and have uh, the connecting rods completely uh, in a different position than the caps so remember to do that to prevent problems all right all the six pistons with the connecting rods are completely out of the engine um, something that I forgot to tell you is to make sure to write the number of the location of each rod with the piston as you can see that's the way you gotta mark it because if you're planning to reuse the connecting rod 
you have to know the location. If you are planning to put new ones, this is the time to replace them because we're gonna take the piston apart from the connecting rod and it is easy to replace them at this moment. So the next step I'm going to do is remove the piston from the connecting rod. To remove the piston is pretty easy, nothing complicated. We have this secure um, clip over here. We're gonna be using a conventional set of player like this one. You can see there is nothing special on this. All you have to do is like place it over here in this position and then grab it like this see and remove it from here like this and put it on a side like this next step is to remove the pin so you are to push it from the opposite side like this see like this and it's going to come out and now the piston and the connecting rod are completely apart. See? Pretty easy. Nothing complicated. Now I have to insert the pin back like this and put the click back again because we're going to return this piston as a core as well we're gonna return the um, connecting rod as a core if you're gonna replace it because they don't accept the cores together they have to be separate if you plan to return them anyway i'm going to do the same process with all the other pistons left all right i have the six pistons they're all completely apart from the connecting rods you can see so now they're ready for return as a core to the local dealer here in Fontana now I'm going to go get the parts and I'm gonna get back to you and continue doing this video as soon as I get the parts okay now I have the parts that I need to install the pistons I have the pistons this is the part number for the pistons. Remember, this is a DD15 from 2013. The part number for uh, DD15 from different years is going to vary, or the part number changes after many years. So don't expect that this number is going to be similar. And don't expect this number to be similar to the DD13s and 16s. Make sure to get the parts with the big number or the engine serial number, very important. And I have the connecting rod here, this is the part number. Let me get it right here. Okay, this is the part number of the connecting rod. As well, the same way is for a DD15 engine. So make sure to get this part specifically with your engine serial number or your big number. Okay, so the uh, piston kit comes with the piston, the three rings, piston rings already installed. That's cool, I like that because they already installed. You don't have to worry about putting it in like other engines. And it comes with the nozzle and the clip from uh, to the, to secure the um, piston pin. And the piston pin is right here, you can see. And the connecting run. Uh, rod comes with the connecting rod and the two bolts and the cap. That's the way it is. So we have the parts that we need to assemb uh, do the assembling of the piston. So first I'm going to blow some air to remove whatever is stuck in between the orifices. Any orifice over here and to remove anything that I don't want to be when I am installing the connecting rod with the piston. So remember, I will blow air. Okay, so now it's time to install the piston with the connecting rod, put them together. So it's pretty easy. All we have to do is to push this one to this side, like this, and making sure then this over here, this uh, part of the piston, which have that cut over there, that's for the exhaust valve for the J-brake. So that one has to be facing in the same direction as this area of the connecting rod so make sure to align those together that's the way they go and now 
I'm going to apply grease, as you can see, some grease. And I'm going to insert this one right here. And I'm going to press the key in so it can go in, in all the way. Now it's in and then press it all the way like this. And now the connecting rod is together with the piston. So now I'm going to remove this clip and I'm going to install it right here.